So you want to start a restaurant, but where do you get started with your branding? And in this video, we're going to cover what makes a restaurant brand. Why is branding important to a restaurant? And give you a couple examples of restaurant branded strategies that work in the restaurant field, as well as a restaurant brand list to help you understand the different aspects of your goal. So welcome to Marketing Food Online. I'm Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. And in this video, we're going to get it all into restaurant branding. And we're gonna explain how that works right now. All right, so welcome back. And as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm gonna go through a list and I'm gonna break down what it is to have a restaurant branded and what exactly is restaurant branding examples. And the first thing right off the bat, of course, if you're brand new to the restaurant industry or if you're just getting off the ground, you want to start with a concept. There are many distinct types of restaurants, each with a different formality, pricing range, and type of food they offer. So the service style of a restaurant is also included in the restaurant concept. Have a sit-down restaurant, is it a pop-up bar, fast casual, counter service restaurant, or even a food truck on your property? Your concept serves as a representation of your brand in motion, and as such, it should be consistent with your brand. Now, here's one example. If you live an active, on-the-go lifestyle, the fast casual dining at Johnston's Cafe, which is part of the company's idea or brand in action, as it is known, allows diners to acquire a nutritious dish at a reasonable price in a short amount of time. So let's dive into some more of these restaurant branding examples. Number two, customer demographics. So you want to know who will be your target audience. What is their age, their gender, their economic level are only a few of the factors that make up demographics. Which of the following groups do you want to serve? Are you going to be making food for families, couples, working professionals, or a combination of all of those? Is it more fashionable or more traditional? What is the price point going to be at which your customers are willing to buy your food? Are there enough customers to support another hamburger and fry eatery in your area? Or has the market already been saturated? You may begin by gaining an overview of the demographics of your intended location and determining what style of branding and concept will work best there. Alternative to this is to search for specific locations that will be compatible with the brand you are promoting. All this should be part of your restaurant branding list. Number three, the mission statement for the restaurant. A restaurant mission statement defines the foundation of your establishment, your values, and the goals that you intend to achieve with your business venture. What services or products do you offer to the customers that they won't be able to find anywhere else? You need to make yourself as unique as possible. A restaurant's mission statement is an opportunity to establish a relationship with your customers, your employees, and your interested parties. Following the completion of your mission statement, you can use it to influence the rest of your decisions and other aspects of your brand as you begin to open your restaurant. This will help ensure that the best restaurant branding method for your eatery has been achieved. So why is branding important in a restaurant, you might ask? Let's keep going. Number four is going to be choosing the name for your restaurant. The selection of a quality restaurant name is as important part of the branding process for your establishment as literally opening your front doors. Your name should be distinct while also being memorable and relevant. Your business name should be representative of your brand and it should give customers an idea of the type of food service and food that you're going to serve and what they can expect when they start walking through your front doors. Now, next up, number five, is your restaurant logo. Another restaurant branding idea is your restaurant logo. It is a distinguishing visual element that customers will get familiar with over time. Your logo may include a symbol or it may be as basic as your company name or initials in an expressive typeface to represent you and your brand. Your restaurant logo should be consistent with your brand by employing a color palette and feel that are similar to the brand you're looking to achieve. By incorporating the logo into your restaurant strategy, this will leave a lasting visual memory for customers as they will be remembered by what they see. The use of symbols and logos is not always obvious despite the fact that they might be important components. 
In fact, a well-chosen typeface and type font may be just as successful at capturing the essence of your company's image on your signs, menu, your website, and other advertising materials as a professionally designed logo. Logos help define also what is a restaurant identity. Number six, really important, are taglines. A tagline is a memorable sentence that summarizes the distinguishing aspect of your company's brand and your restaurant objective. Taglines are frequently heard on radio and TV ads, and they can be found on restaurant websites and logos as well on the bottom. Number seven is the restaurant atmosphere. Remember that the ambience of a restaurant is one of the most essential dynamic mediums in which you may communicate your business message. Guests will remember their experience at your cafe, bar, or restaurant. Thus, it is critical to create a distinct and pleasant ambiance for them to remember. Every part of the atmosphere should be fine-tuned to ensure that it is consistent with your brand and your vision, and that it provides a comfortable guest experience. Listed below are some important aspects in your restaurant's environment and ambiance to consider while developing a brand for your establishment. These are what make a restaurant brand. Now, keep in mind the following. The type of lighting, decoration of your interior, your, even your serving utensils and your tabletop specifics are very important. Color scheme and combination of colors, the type of music you're gonna have, the clothes on your servers, your waiters, and all of the workers and employees, designing a specific menu, and this is just a sample of what you should look into when creating your ambiance. Number eight, website and social media. Both prospective guests and loyal clients will almost always likely visit your website to view your menu, hours of operation, general information about your establishment. Following your restaurant on social media such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram may also be an option that a lot of customers will end up doing. These are all part of what branding examples are, and it's critical to maintain consistency across your platforms for your brand. The essence of your website, the aesthetics of your Instagram photos, even the tone of language you use on social media, and the overall look and feel of your company are all examples of methods representing your brand. In some situations, your website and Instagram account may be the first impression that customers receive of your company, making it worthwhile to invest in high quality website design, maintenance, and images on all platforms. Next up, you wanna keep in mind, of course, number nine is the type of food. Another important aspect of your restaurant's identity is the type of cuisine that you provide to your customers. To accommodate large groups at your Italian bistro or to keep your happy hour busy, make enough of, of plates to keep in mind your customer's satisfaction. Keep these in mind uh, when you are answering the question about your restaurant's branding strategy, such as an example like Sarah's Steakhouse, for example, is known for serving healthy, farm-fresh cuisine, which is a crucial component of their brand. From the ingredients you choose to the names of your dishes, make sure every decision you make is consistent with your mission statement. As a high-end establishment, make sure you emphasize the high-quality ingredients as well as your preparation techniques in order to attract customers to visit your restaurant. Number 10, this is a really cool one, is actually your company merch. These are products that you could promote your business might with a huge range of t-shirts, beer glasses, and several other types of products that can be purchased either online or at the restaurant itself. Additionally, you can give away or even sell some of these products, such as pins or even stationery, Christmas ornaments, or tote bags, to even tap into an additional market with your logo. You may also hold contests to give away free gifts to help spread the news about your restaurant's existence. Additionally, when visitors purchase these things and carry your restaurant's logo, it fosters even greater customer loyalty because they are now in possession of an item that is associated with your restaurant. So becoming more invested in your brand and down the road, coming to your restaurant more frequently. All right, finally, bringing it all together. All these things are great examples of restaurant branding examples, but they should be a part of your restaurant strategy. If you're looking to create a restaurant branding strategy, keep in mind each of these aspects. Once you've decided on the primary components of your brand, it's critical to stick with them. Make sure they all work together as a cohesive package. It will be inappropriate to serve obviously filet mignon on a paper plate or play pop music at a Mexican restaurant, for instance. 
So to be clear, this does not rule out the possibility of combining several styles in order to generate a completely new concept. Each component of your company, when implementing restaurant branding ideas, should be given the same amount of attention and consideration as the others. This will increase the likelihood of being noticed and appreciated by new as well as returning customers. Strong restaurant branding fosters an emotional connection and concept in the mind of your customer, and you want that to happen with every single one of them. So if you understand a little bit more about the idea of branding your restaurant, and these 10 ideas are something that helped you out, definitely give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about restaurant branding and how to get your restaurant strategies up and running, give us a note down below.